After more than five-year investigation, the U.S. Department of Justice brought down the hammer today on four men in what's being called a conspiracy to defraud the county of Hawaii, one of them a county official who was supposed to help create low-income housing on the Big Island. Last week, that official, Alan Ruto, pled guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. KITV 4's Jefferson Tyler now joins us live with what charges the other three men are facing. Jefferson. Well, businessman Rajesh Budabadi is expected to enter a plea next week, and the Department of Justice says the grand, federal grand jury has returned an eight-count indictment against attorneys Paul Sula and Gary Samber, with Ruto waiting for his sentencing. Charges for the others include wire fraud, with Sula and Zamber also facing a conspiracy charge. The podium being handed off between officials today as details are laid out about alleged fraud on Hawaii Island involving affordable housing credits and the land that housing was supposed to be on. The idea behind the affordable housing credits is that they can be sold and they can be bought by developers in lieu of building affordable housing. An intricate web of details laid out today by federal officials detailing where the sale of these valuable credits becomes a crime. According to court documents, the linchpin in the alleged scheme revolves Balls around the housing and community development specialist Alan Rudo, whose job involved facilitating the building of low-income housing on the island. It was clear that Mr. Rudo was employed by the county. That was the position of trust that he possessed that allowed him to move through all these different levels of county approval. According to the U.S. Attorney, three other men joined Rudo in an alleged scheme to defraud the county. These individuals allegedly created fictitious liability companies and engage with other individuals who are charged separately to make it seem they were going to build homes that hardworking families could afford to purchase. Mr. Suler and Mr. Zamber helped Mr. Ruto conceal his interest through a series of trusts and other entities that made it difficult for the county to understand that Mr. Ruto stood to benefit from transactions. Companies Luna Loa Developments, Westview Developments, and Plumeria at Waikoa Loa were able to get affordable housing credits, sell them, buy land the low-income houses were supposed to be built on, and then also sell that for a profit. An indictment says that Ruto tried to get the owners at Kailua Kona to sell to his company by pretending to represent the county. In the cases of Waikoa Loa, one of the others pretended to own the company involved in the deal. The first instance with Luna Loa, I think it was a South Kohala property, that they would build affordable housing, 106 units on that property. At the end of the day, they obtained the property, they sold the property, and no affordable housing was built. Now, most of these incidents took place between 2015 and 2018. The U.S. Attorney would not confirm today whether Buddha Body will plead guilty when it comes time for him to appear in court, but indicated that a deal is either being worked out or being worked out in preparation of that appearance. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4 Island News.